fifth, sixth and seventh people in the world to ride this bike. Oh my God, no. What is up peeps? Welcome back to another episode. I hope you're all doing well. Today is going to be a little bit different as you've seen by the title. I am here in Milan and I am attending Eichmar 2024. It's the 110th anniversary of this show and it is going to be such a great day today. I cannot wait to see all of the new releases from all the different brands. There is going to be over 2100 different brands and 770 exhibitors at this event from 45 different countries and it's all packed into, well not packed into because this place is absolutely huge, 300,000 square meters. It's absolutely huge. I'm going to be knackered by the end of this day. Um, I'm here until Thursday, today's Tuesday and uh, yeah it's going to be a real fun day today. I wanted to make this vlog and show you what I get up to when I'm not delivering and most importantly show you all of the new bikes that all of the different companies are going to be launching next year. New are actually going to be releasing two new models so NIU is the company that I am an ambassador for in the UK and I'm here with the ambassador from Switzerland. Sorry Ted I meant Sweden not Switzerland and also Ezra from Antwerp. We met up later with him in the show. And Louis Cole, who is behind Fun For Louis on YouTube. I used to watch his content all the time. I still do watch his content, but it's amazing to be here with him as well today. Um, he's whizzing around at the moment on an e-scooter. Um, but yeah, I'm with Moose as well from uh, Amsterdam. Got these custom hoodies on, along with the Union Jack on the side. Today is gonna be a really good day. We're just currently walking to the main entrance. So let's get straight inside. The launch for NIU is gonna be taking place at 3 p.m. Uh, no, no, 4 p.m. today. You're gonna see exactly what the, new, the, what the new models are. And I'm also gonna be taking a look at other new models from other companies companies like Yamaha, Kawasaki is going to be here, Triumph, any motorcycle manufacturer you can name, they're here this weekend. Yeah, let's get straight into this and I'll bring you back once I'm inside. All right, so we're in. What the hell, man? This place is huge. It is massive in here, man. Welcome to Mecca. Oh my God. Welcome to Mecca. I don't know where to look. There is so much here. First things first, we need to find the new stand. Moose, say hello to the vlog. Hey vlog. And Ted, introduce yourself. I don't, I don't think anyone's seen you on my channel before. Can you nope. explain what you do, who you are, where you're from? Ted, transplanted American living in Stockholm, Sweden and uh, news uh, first ambassador from 2019. Wow. Oh, 2019. That's 2019. similar similar time for, for me as well. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, pretty cool, man. Damn, there is everything here. We've got motorcycle helmets, MX helmets. Yeah, there is a lot here. And this is going to be a fun day. There is any manufacturer, like I said, every manufacturer is here. NIU is the first point of call. Here we go. I see the rig. I see the here they are. See, so yeah, we've got SYM over here. Honestly, there's bikes everywhere absolutely everywhere and they're not only electric bikes we've also got petrol bikes like i said not everything is ev here no way bro no. the new bikes have been revealed already there's the new models wow so that looks like a gts that's been upgraded so this is a an nqix 1000 so this this is brand spanking new we missed the uh the launch of this 10,000 watts so 10 kilowatts l3e 272 volt 28 amp hour times three so this has got three batteries what the hell man check this out a brand new model we've got a new display up front as well all new controls and this is the other model the fqi so this one 6400 watts 72 volt 28 amp hour times two this one's 3799 euros and the other one is we don't know yet but triple battery A lot of people complaining with electric vehicles that, you know, see like two parts. Yeah. So wait a minute, so you have speakers in here? <laughs> they do have speakers inside. No way. <laughs> it was the first one. Oh my God. <laughs> 
Look who I've bumped into. Look who I've bumped into. Yeah, how are you finding the event? This event is crazy, bro. Like, I've been walking around for so long and I've still seen maybe like one, two percent of everything. You know this what? Is sick. Even, I've just seen like two stands and yeah. we haven't even touched like maybe one percent. It's crazy. Where we're meant to be. Yeah. It's massive. You can't actually describe how big this place is yeah. without being here. Like, it's, like, it's like two airports put into one and you're just wandering around for ages. Now. What do you think of the new models? They look good, man. I'm going to get wait. someone to uh, speak through them because I don't really know the specs. Obviously, I've read off the specs from the spec list, but I'm going to need to get someone that knows what they're talking about. Pom Pompey. <laughs> Pompey Bites is vlogging as well, so yeah, yeah. once you finish watching this, head over and watch his one. Come on. All right, so I've just found another bike, and this is the FQIX. But as you can see there, it's a concept bike. So I don't know if this is actually gonna come to production, but it looks like a XADV. Like it's got that type of styling. It's not as big, obviously, but I really like the look of this. So there's all the new models behind me, but there is some quad bikes here. And I didn't actually know that these were part of NIU. I thought this was like a completely separate brand. And you have quad bikes. What the actual hell? They are absolutely massive. And there's uh, quite a few different variants as well. This one is by far my favorite. Just the branding and everything on it is so, so cool. Honestly, absolutely crazy to see. I mean, just look at the size of this. It's a beast. What the, uh, the electric motor in there as well. But this is giving me uh, like Cybertruck vibes with this light bar at the back here. So, so cool. So new are just setting up for their press conference. They're gonna be speaking about all the new models. I'll bring you back shortly when the presentation starts and they're gonna go through all the new models, the specs, when we can expect them to be in the UK and uh, all that good information. Over the next 15 or so minutes, I will be joined by a handful of my colleagues to walk you through all of these new products. Biggest product launch ever at New, and we're super excited about it. Today, we're proud to introduce the KQI Share Kick Scooter. It's a robust, versatile, and long-lasting addition to the fleet. Thank you for taking time to speak with me. Um, for all my viewers, I know who you are, but for my viewers at home, could you please introduce yourself? Sure, you absolutely. My name is Joe Constandy, uh, Senior Director of Global Strategy and Growth at New. First of all, congratulations on the launch. It's pretty awesome. It's uh, pretty breathtaking to see all the new models. Yeah. What one is your favorite? My favorite, the NQIX. Um, I mean, crazy top speeds, well over 120 kilometers an hour, crazy range. Uh, again, over you know, well over 120 kilometer range. Um, so super fun bike for those type of people that are looking for something cool. But like practical, uh, the FQIX 5000, great bike. With the upgrade to the NQI, yep. with it being the X and having a lot more power with 10,000 10, watts, 10 kilowatts. Yeah. Do you think this is gonna open up the market a little bit more to people that use the highways a lot more? I think it's possible. I mean, because we're putting 14 inch wheels on it, yep. so it definitely makes it safe for that kind of riding condition. How many are there going to be available this one? I think it's a thousand. I think it's about a thousand. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't, don't hold me to it. Yeah, yeah. It's in the hundreds, uh, somewhere between zero and a thousand. But I think somewhere in that neighborhood is fair. With the RQI, so yep. I have one of these coming I this know Friday. Do. I'm very, very excited for it. In terms of sales for this bike, do yep. you know anything off the top of your head for like how many units have sold so far? We don't. In terms uh, of like, yeah, unfortunately, I can't talk about numbers. Okay. Uh, publicly traded company, yeah. but. Uh, we are definitely very excited about the the sales and the potential sales that we that we see in the coming year. I mean, the one thing I was speaking to Tim earlier is every single model of new can yeah. be ridden on a. I don't know if you know what CBT is in the UK. I think that's just so important to have. Absolutely. Uh, that that wide range of bikes that anyone can ride, literally yeah. anyone. There's no restriction of getting a full license. Yeah. New is leading the market. Yeah, absolutely. Innovating and there, uh, it is so great to see, honestly. And um, I just want to say thank you as an ambassador from the UK. Absolutely. Uh, we we you appreciate guys. your support. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. absolutely. It's, been really, it's been really, really good. Mm -hmm. All these years and uh, I can't wait for the future. Awesome. Thank, thank you for having much. me. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Good morning, good morning. I am still in Milan with Ted and Moose. Yesterday was a little bit mad. 
We uh, went to Eichmar the first day, but uh, I got a little bit sidetracked and I ended up staying at the newsstand all day. So yeah, today we're on the way to the new flagship store here in Milan. We're going to be having a look at the, a couple of models of, uh, of new, like the kick scooters and the RQI, because they have one available there. And then, yeah, we're heading back over to Eichmar. Well, look, news are quite uh, popular here in Milan. Got two models here. But yeah, it's going to be a nice chill day today. Might have a little ride around and I'm hoping that we can get a kick scooter that I can actually ride to Eichmar. So we just arrived at the flagship store here in Milan. This isn't the actual uh, one I was thinking it was going to be. But yeah, this is the new flagship. It's a beautiful store. I mean, uh, the layout's really, really nice. But the XQI3 here, which looks like it's actually been used. This tape has been taken out. It's covered in mud. And I think this is exactly how the bike should look. <laughs> and then, yeah, all of the other models. The uh, MQI GT Evos. Oh, that's just a normal GT. NQI GTSs. UQI up there, MQI GT100, real nice uh, store. They've also got like a service center part around here. There's an RQI here as well. This isn't a prototype, this is the final version. And you're gonna be seeing this bike pretty soon on my channel. I have something special to announce. Yeah, we're just uh, sorting out what we're gonna be taking out and who's doing what. As soon as we find out what we're doing, I'll bring you straight back. But um, yeah, we're just gonna be going with the flow of things. And so for the RQI, there's no paperwork required. All right, so here's what's going on. I have the keys right here for the RQI. I'm going to be taking out the RQI in Milan. Absolutely epic. I'm just going to set up the bike with all of my camera gear and um, we're going to go for a little ride. There's quite a few of us as well taking out all different bikes. We've got the MQI GT100, the GTS, the RQI and an NQI GTS. These are the four bikes that are going out. All right, let's do this. Taking out the RQI. Yeah, we're just gonna ride around the route that we've got today is an hour just over an hour first stop is 14 minutes away 4.6 kilometers <laughs> oh my god i can't believe i'm on an rqi in milan this is mad <laughs> the power baby oh my god so this is the final version of the rqi this isn't a prototype this is the final thing i'm in sport mode at the moment Oh man, it feels amazing to be back out on this bike. Absolutely wicked. Uh, Milan is absolutely beautiful. And what better way to spend a Wednesday afternoon cruising around with some ambassadors. This is absolutely epic stuff. <laughs> beautiful it's so much power just i'm so happy that new made this bike when i first rode the prototype to the rqi i was thinking ah, maybe this is something that we're, we're never going to see in the uk maybe it's only going to go to china and i'm just so happy that it is going to be coming to the uk so so good they smashed it with this oh my god that was the first ever launch control <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to be stopping off as well, having a coffee, chilling out a little bit. Ah, oh, so good. Yeah, gonna have a coffee, charge up a little bit, warm up a little bit, and then um, get back out on the road. This vlog has taken a completely different direction. I didn't even know that I was gonna have the opportunity to ride the RQI. All right, so coffee break is over. Now we're gonna head back to the store. Oh, it's been so good. This trip already has been amazing, honestly. 
oh, that's, that's never gonna get old. I swear, it's never gonna wear off. This is what it's about. This is what it's like to own a new. You make friends, you connect with people, you all have a passion for the same thing. Don't get me wrong, I love petrol bikes, I love motorbikes. But in terms of the community that new brings, it's this sort of stuff is why I love working with new. All the ambassadors, or a majority of the ambassadors from Europe are here, and we're just out enjoying the city. Milan is beautiful. It's one of those cities exactly the same as Amsterdam. I could I could really get on with uh, living here, but obviously Brexit and stuff doesn't really uh, make that possible. But my uh, my family is Italian actually on my father's side, so I might be able to get like an ancestry visa or passport. I don't know something something like that. Can't wait. Let's stop here. Is there anyone behind us? Huh? No. Five, four, three, two, one, go. <laughs> All day long. <laughs> oh my god. What a ride that was. Insane. Alright, so day three. <laughs> this whole vlog is so random. But after the test ride yesterday, we didn't even end up going to Aikma. Day three now is open to the public and there are thousands and thousands of people here. Like there's so many. It's just me and Moose now. And uh, today we are gonna be visiting the new stand, but we're just gonna be looking around like and seeing the other brands and what's going on. We had the Connect event last night where all of Team New got together. We had a really, really good dinner. But yeah, enough talking, let's get in. We've still got like a, a 1.2 kilometer walk, but just look at how many people there are. There's so many people here. What are you most excited to see, Moose, in there? Uh, Honda, I heard uh, good things Honda, yeah, they got like one of the biggest stands, right? Yeah, yeah let's get inside and uh, I'll bring you back in a moment. All right, so we've just come outside. There's some stunt riding going on. Got a pretty good view as well. You can't beat it, man. The smell of two-stroke is so nice. So we're finally having a walk about, me, Ted, and uh, Moose. We're trying to find the Honda one, Honda stage first, and then uh, Yamaha and Kawasaki. There is so many manufacturers here you can't even like you can't really stop and look at bikes all right we'll go over to vmoto let's see what vmoto have but yeah it's it's honestly i wish i spent more time here now i'm kind of gutted that i'm going home today i'm kind of tempted to stay until uh until saturday but i got something very special arriving tomorrow morning so i can't do that i think every year now i'm just i'm gonna no, no questions i'm coming to Aikma. oh yeah i don't know why i turned it down so these are the vmoto bikes vs1 i've read i've ridden this one i'm allergic to vmoto I've ridden this. This looks absolutely beautiful. God, this colorway is nice. I really like this colorway. This is like a touring bike, right? Come on, bro. Come on, bro. <laughs> Come on, bro. bro, stop throwing shade. It's funny because these guys, they're like die hard new ambassadors. And don't get me wrong, like I take the job seriously and the responsibility of being an, an ambassador, but I'm not going to throw shade on other companies. Like they have got some really good bikes. But yeah, these guys want to get out of here already. They, they're like, nah, 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 let's get out. Impressions on uh, Vimoto, you, you love them? You're gonna become an ambassador? Oh, <laughs> oh look, Puig are here. So everyone that follows the channel, you know, I use a Puig mega box. Puig are actually here, but they make so many different things. It's not just top boxes. They make parts for bikes, aftermarket parts and stuff. Look at these, man. Crazy. Absolutely epic. Definitely. I need to spend another day here at least. Oh, yeah, as well. Let me show you this quickly, guys. Check who's on this. How cool is that? 
Oh yeah, this is the uh, first gen cargo, and then they've also got the e-bike that hasn't been actually been released. I don't know if it's going to be coming to Europe or not. Hopefully, I can get my hands on this one day. The, the build quality looks really nice. I think for food deliveries, it'd be perfect. I think a, a delivery bag would fit in this one for sure. But yeah, these are the specs: 750 watt motor. Obviously, this have, this would have to be limited down to 250 watts. 15 amp hour battery, 48 volts and it weighs 32 kilos. And then yeah, obviously all of the, the kick scooters, which we won't see in the UK for some time, but they have released new fleet. New fleet is gonna be exactly what it says. <laughs> We're gonna have rentable scooters, so the KQI share. Not too long now, we'll start to see uh, KQI kick scooters on the streets of London, hopefully, and around England. All right, now we're in the good spot. Look what's in front of me. Oh my God, the amount of carbon on this is absolutely nuts. I think we uh, can all tell what this company specializes in, carbon fiber. So we just made our way to the other hall now. There's a lot more going on in here. We've got a uh, Triumph over here, and Honda have a, I think they, Honda's got the biggest stand here. It's like, a, it's like a whole building. Yeah, the Honda stand is crazy, which is expected. This is their uh, electric bikes. making our way over to the LS2 stand where I am now. But some guy just tried to pickpocket me. He was showing like some, uh, what was he showing us? Like a picture. Yeah, a picture and he was like distracting you. Like, yeah, it was distracting you. He was like, like he tried hey, to go in my pocket. Your mic? And he was like, yeah. Dodgy man, it's crazy. Even in here, you need to be careful. Like, there's a lot of police here, but yeah, you need to be careful. Um, but yeah, at the LS2 stand now, I'm gonna have a look at a few uh, few helmets because you know that I do use LS2 helmets as well. It's not only Rue Rock. Yeah, there's a lot here. Uh, they've got the storms. I'm actually good looking for a new helmet as well. So this is a good good place to come and have a look and see what's about. Oh, look at this! Absolutely, that is a piece of art. This is artwork, man. So here's what's happening. We're taking out the NQIX, the first time ever that it's been, it's gonna be going outside. And we're lucky enough, we're, we're lucky, I can't even talk, I'm so excited. We're lucky enough, we're gonna be able to ride this bike for the first time. We're gonna be like maybe the fifth, sixth, and seventh people in the world to ride this bike. It's the uh, latest release from new, nine kilowatts of power, 9,000 watts in a moped. And uh, I'm super excited to, to ride this. This is gonna be one hell of an experience. Hopefully security don't come and uh, come and stop us because we're not really meant to be taking these bikes out right here. But sometimes you gotta risk it for a biscuit. Oh my god. Are we in ready already? No. How? Oh. Sport. Wait, there's rally. What's rally? No, oh, weird. Sport and rally. What is rally? Okay, so I'm, I've gone into rally mode. Rally mode. I, I don't know what rally mode is. Oh. Okay, I'm so nervous, I don't know why. You ready? Ready. No way! Oh! Okay, no, that power is crazy. I did not expect that. I think it's because it's a moped and you expect mopeds to be chilled and relaxed and all the rest of it. Okay, we're gonna pin it. Three, two, one. Oh my God! No. 
Oh my god. I'm lost for words, man. Feels like you could pop a wheelie. Yeah, that you, yeah. yeah. Do you want to do one run with it? Yep, okay. Just, I don't, I'm just worried for you, man. Moose on the NQI X. Ha, ha, ha.